Picture this, a motorcycle, designed in a Bangalore garage, now standing under the Eiffel Tower, competing against Europe's finest. This is a story you weren't supposed to hear. Because when the world thinks high-performance motorcycles, they think Italy, Germany, Japan. They don't think India. But two engineers from Bangalore didn't get that memo. Two thousand sixteen, Narayan Subramaniam and Neeraj Raj Mohan start Ultraviolet Automotive, not to build another commuter scooter, not to play it safe, but to build something India had never attempted before—a high-performance electric superbike that could compete globally. The audacity of that vision is staggering. India's EV market was barely crawling. The infrastructure didn't exist. The expertise was scattered, and these two aerospace engineers decided they were going to take on Ducati. BMW and KTM from scratch. For five years, they worked in near obscurity. 2017, second generation platforms. 2018, fifth generation prototypes. By 2019, they had their final design. But here's what makes this story different from every other Indian EV startup you've heard about. They didn't just want to build an electric motorcycle. They wanted to build the best electric motorcycle. November 2022 the F77 launches in India and immediately the numbers don't make sense 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds the electric acceleration of the F77 takes you from 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds that's bugatti wear on territory top speed 155 km per hour range up to 323 km on a single charge the updated intercity range on the F77 Mark II Today stands at a staggering 320 kilometers. This is no more than half a second off Bugatti Veyron speed, not to 60, on a bike that you can go out and just do your half-day CBT lesson on, and then you can ride this. At its heart, a 10.3 kilowatt-hour battery pack, the largest in any two-wheeler in India. But size alone doesn't win races. Ultraviolet developed a patented five-level safety system. We have a patented five-level safety system that operates within our battery packs. Cell-level fuses, thermal management that dissipates heat at the individual cell level, an IP67 rated aluminum enclosure, and a battery management system that operates in microseconds. The result: one F77 completed 100,000 kilometers. That's twice around the Earth and retained 95% of its original battery capacity. But here's where it gets really interesting. This motorcycle gets better over time. In 2024, Ultraviolet rolled out a software-only update, the Gen 3 powertrain firmware, free, over the air, like a Tesla. Zero hardware changes, just code. And suddenly, existing customers had a faster bike. I'm still getting goosebumps to be honest here. Yeah. My God, this is insane. Honoring me so much more confident. It really felt so good to actually, you know, rev that throttle and your bike is just going ahead the way you want it. Once you ride an electric motorcycle, you will forget the ice engines. This is so engaging. The moment I twist the throttle, it's like no hardware changes and guess what? No extra cost. True innovation should not punish the early adopters. In fact, it's got to reward you. We build machines that evolve, future-ready tech that refuses to get outdated for the rider that always wants more. The F77, smarter every day and faster every ride. As always, relentlessly evolving. That's not how motorcycles are supposed to work. But Ultraviolet isn't building normal motorcycles. November 2023, Milan, Italy, EICMA, the world's largest motorcycle exhibition, the place where legends are made and pretenders are exposed. Ultraviolet shows up with the F77. The response: disbelief. How is an Indian startup competing here against brands with century-long legacies? But Narayan and Neeraj knew something. To be taken seriously globally, you couldn't just meet European standards. You had to exceed them. October 2024, the F77 Mark II secures UNECEL 3E homologation. This certification authorizes it for road use in 40 countries. The F77 becomes the first Indian electric motorcycle with full European certification. And then, 
the blitz begins. June 2025, Paris, the Eiffel Tower. Ultraviolet launches retail operations in 10 European countries simultaneously. Today, while we're launching in Paris, France, we are also announcing our entry into 10 nations across Europe. Very proud moment for all of us at UV and for our country. By year end, they add Spain and Portugal, 12 European countries in six months. This bike has really interesting technology that I've never seen before. It has haptic feedback in the handlebars that buzz when danger is detected. So there's a buzz in the handlebars that warns me ahead of time. But here's the strategic genius. They didn't go alone. In the UK, they partnered with Motomondo, a major distributor for Royal Enfield. In Spain and Portugal, Rhino Electric. In Nepal, the Kedia Group. The European pricing, 9,990 euros. That positioned them against KTC and mid-spec Yamahas. Not cheap. But here's what's wild. Harley, the equivalent live wire, 17,000 pounds. The Zero is 15,000 pounds. Ultraviolet is 7,000 and 5,000 pounds respectively cheaper than those two models. But the one huge bonus it has on top of the massive chasm in price difference is that this Ultraviolet, somehow with the witchcraft, can be ridden on a CBT license. By August 2025, Ultraviolet had 40 European dealerships. The goal? 500 units shipped to Europe in 2025 and 30-35% to of total revenue from international markets by 2028. For context, that would make Ultraviolet one of the most internationally successful Indian automotive startups in history. But while the F-77 was conquering Europe, Ultraviolet was building something even more insane, the F-99 racing platform. 265 km per hour top speed, 90 kilowatts of power, 0 to 100 in 3 seconds. Complete carbon fiber exoskeleton, a 400 volt high voltage architecture. A top speed of over 200 km per hour and a power output north of 65 bhp. Now these are the crazy specs that this machine is capable of. This isn't a production bike. This is Ultraviolet's Halo, their Moto E competitor. Their statement to the world that Indian engineering can build anything. And here's the strategy. Technology developed for the F99 trickles down into consumer bikes, just like Formula One innovations end up in your family car. The pipeline is expanding. The X47 crossover. Codename Shockwave. Codename Tesseract. Each one pushing boundaries each one funded by their latest $145 million in total capital raised. Here's who believes in Ultraviolet's vision. TVS Motor Company, a traditional Indian motorcycle OEM, took an early strategic stake of nearly 30%. Zoho Corporation, India's SaaS unicorn, doubled down across multiple funding rounds. But then, the big signal came. December 2025. Lingoto invests. Lingoto is the investment arm of Exor, the holding company that owns Ferrari, Stellantis, Juventus, and The Economist. When the family behind Ferrari bets on an Indian electric motorcycle startup, that's not just capital, that's validation. That's a signal to every automotive player in Europe. Ultraviolet is the real deal. Add in TDK Ventures for battery and power electronics expertise, Qualcomm Ventures for connectivity and tech DNA. This isn't a random collection of investors. This is a carefully constructed cap table designed for global domination. So what's next? Nepal already has an ultraviolet space station, their first international showroom outside India. Southeast Asia is on deck. Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, Malaysia, all motorcycle crazy markets. The Middle East is coming. UAE, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, markets that value premium performance. Latin America by 2026, Brazil's massive motorcycle market, Colombia, Mexico, and then the long game, North America and Japan by the late 2020s. Their Bangalore factory currently produces 10,000 units per year, scalable to 30,000 with additional shifts. But demand is outpacing supply. Once you ride an electric motorcycle, you will forget the ice engine. This is so engaging. The moment I twist the throttle, it's like the bike literally comes alive. The question isn't if they'll scale, 
it's how fast. Here's what ultraviolet actually represents. For decades, India exported software, IT services, and affordable products. The world saw India as back office support, cost arbitrage, mass manufacturing. Ultraviolet is exporting aspiration, premium engineering, performance, innovation. When it comes to design and tech, we've historically looked to the East or the West, but no more. It's time for India to take pole position. They're proving that made in India doesn't mean compromise. It means world-class. It means future forward. Two engineers, one garage, one impossible dream. And now, 12 countries, Ferrari's backing, and a race spec superbike that goes 265 kilometers per hour. This is ultraviolet. This is Indian engineering. And they're just getting started. This is the story of Indian businesses racing against the world and winning. If you want more stories like this, the underdogs, the risk takers, the ones changing the game, hit that subscribe button. Because the next global giant, it might just be starting in someone's garage in India right now.